iOS 17 is already packed with new features and changes, and we're just on beta 1, but let me show you guys how to enable another 10 amazing features on this update. So the first thing will be in Safari. So all of these features can be enabled using some settings that is kind of hard to find or, or maybe kind of hidden on iOS 17. So I will show you guys how to do that and we're starting again with Safari. So head on to settings here and go to Safari. Now what you need to do here is scroll all the way down and you will find here a section that says advanced. It will actually be at the very bottom. You tap here on advanced and then you will have some Something right here called advanced tracking and fingerprint protection so basically this will protect your device from being tracked and you can see right here it says tracking and fingerprint protection now what you need to do here is go ahead and choose where you want to use this so of course I don't suggest you turn this off because it's really important but you can choose whether you want to use it for your private tabs only for your private browsing or you want to use it for all the browsing that you do private and non-private tabs that you have on Safari. Now here's another feature that you can find under the same section. So Safari and go to advanced. Now this is not a new setting, not a new feature on iOS 17, but it used to be right here on the main page and I thought Apple removed it completely, but it turns out they have just changed the location. So now you need to go to advanced here and he will have block all cookies. So if you just want to block cookies from websites on Safari running iOS 17, you will have to go here and enable the switch right there. Moving on to focus. So let's go to focus modes right here. So we can go to any of these focus modes and what you got here are filters. Now, of course, filters is not a new feature, but Apple has added a new one here. So Let's just go to filters and you will see that now Apple has added mail and you won't only see the mail from like Apple, but you will see other mail apps as well. Now, when you go here, you can choose which account of emails you want to use for that certain focus mode. So let's say on this focus mode, I only want to have my work emails. I can just go ahead and select it right here and I'm good to go. So I won't be getting like notifications and other things from this account only for my work account. Next up, we're moving to the Maps app. Now we have some really interesting new settings here with the Maps app. As you probably know, on iOS 17, Apple has added a great new feature to the Maps app that allows you to download offline maps so that you can use them without internet, a feature users have been requesting for a long time now. So head on to your profile right here and what you need to do is tap on offline maps. When you go here, you will see a new section that Apple has added for the offline maps feature. First of all, you will have your downloaded maps right there. You can view them, you can rename them, you can delete them directly from there. And if you want to download a new map, you tap right here and just search for any map you want. But let's go to the settings here. Now, what you can do here is go ahead and choose how you want to download your maps. So this is the first setting we're talking about. So you tap right, then you will have two different options. So you can choose Wi-Fi only. So maps will not only be downloaded, they will also be updated. So they will be updated actually automatically. You enable automatic updates right there and you're good to go. You don't have to actually bother with updating your maps. They will be downloaded automatically, but you will have to choose here whether you want to use Wi-Fi only or Wi-Fi and cellular base, of course, whether you have an unlimited plan or anything like that, you can choose how you want to do that. And the next one we're talking about is optimized storage. So if you don't want to actually run out of storage on your device, just enable this setting right here. This will download maps, but it will make sure that the size will be smaller. So it basically optimizes the offline maps for your device. So you get more free space on your iPhone. And now let's move on and talk about Siri. Now Siri has gotten a lot of changes as well on iOS 17. Now one thing we're talking about here can be found under accessibility here and then go under Siri. There we have Siri and you will have here a slider that says speaking rate. Now this will basically determine how fast Siri will speak to you. So it's at 100% which will of course be the default and you can actually move it up to 200% or bring it down to 80%. I don't know if that 80 is actually quite good enough. It maybe should be at around 50%. Some people might need it to actually talk way, way slower. But if you just wanna adjust the Siri talking speed, you can actually do that from here. 
Moving on to the main settings page, here we have a couple of other settings with Siri that are actually really interesting. So go to Siri and search and you will find here a new setting that allows you to use Siri while you're on a phone call. So you're on a phone call, maybe on the speaker, you can just ask to launch Siri and just talk something, maybe ask something, ask any information that you might need during that call. So right here we have Siri on calls. You can go ahead and enable here and you will have here a text that basically explains everything you need to know regarding this feature. Another one that we're including here is allow Siri when locked. So you can enable this that way your iPhone is locked, maybe a bit far away from you on a table or somewhere. You can just ask Siri to launch or ask Siri anything without having to unlock first your device. So that might be on in some cases a really, really great and very useful feature. So if you want to use that, you can go ahead and enable it from here. Here's another great new feature that Apple has added to iOS 17. Head on to your settings and go to passwords. Then under password option, you will find clean up automatically. Now what this will do is that it will actually delete verification codes in messages and mail after you have used them with autofill. So with iOS 17, Apple has added another great feature which allows you to autofill verification codes from mail as well. We got that like a long time ago on the iMessage app, now we have it on mail as well, which is really great. But you don't want those emails and those messages staying on your device. Enabling this feature will automatically delete those messages and those emails containing those codes once you have used them and they're good babies, basically they're gone, they will be deleted automatically from your device simply by enabling this setting right here. Another great new feature of iOS 17 is that you can now protect your private tabs on Safari with your face ID or passcode. Of course, the passcode that you use for your device. Now, this is really amazing. Sometimes you might have opened like your private tabs, but you maybe forgot to close them or something like that. Anyone open Safari can see them. Now with this feature, they will need your face ID or the passcode. So head on to the Safari settings, scroll all the way to here and you will find here this feature that basically allows you to require face ID to unlock private browsing. So enable it right there and you're good to go. Anyone wants to open those tabs, they will need your face ID. And last but not least, we're moving to the screen time settings. This is really useful as well. So with screen time on iOS 17, we have a new feature called screen distance. Basically, this feature will make you keep your iPhone away from your face. So when it detects that your iPhone is very close to your face and your eyes, it will just show like a pop up here on the full screen and it won't go away until you push your iPhone further from your eyes. This is really important especially for like younger people this will be really really important and very healthy as well to have this feature turned on now sometimes it might be annoying but it's better to have it on it might be very very useful in a lot of cases so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to go ahead and subscribe for more iOS 17 videos of course if you enjoyed this one leave a like as it helps out a lot and i will see you on the next one